beginning with just a piece of 2x6 scrap you cut off whatever length you want mine are about 8 inches and you're gonna cut a slice off the back and this slice is only about a half an inch leaving you with five inches to drill through and make a nice long tube for the mason bees when you drill these holes in the front you use a 3 8 inch bit and drill the holes from front to back all the way through I like to keep them about three quarters of an inch apart now you can build these up and make bigger blocks by simply taking two of these and adding them side by side or stacking them on a shelf put them on any shelf and stack them up or you can stand them up this way okay we have our nest block all done with the back still on it so we'll take the back off now you have just the back and the holes that need to be stuffed so what we've got is our parchment paper just plain old parchment paper we'll cut it by putting it next to the block the way I do it is I put it next to the block and I just cut it off leaving about an inch you roll it on the pencil there we go we rolled it up and we're just going to put it right in the hole you push it in the hole pull the pencil out and then just kind of tap it on both ends that that makes it expand into the hole take the next piece these can be cut about the size of a dollar bill maybe a little bit bigger probably a, a little wider I don't think it matters you want two or three wraps of the pencil put it in there pull the pencil out and just kind of tap it and that's it when you get the whole block done you lay this down flat and bend these over like that until you get them all all filled and all bent over and then once they're all bent over now that it's got the paper tubes in you just put your back on and screw it down and this crack right here I put a strip of duct tape all the way around the block just to keep little creepy crawlies from going in that crack and trying to lay eggs we don't want that on this one with these tabs when it comes time to pull them out you just grab these tabs and pull them gently out and you have the little paper tube with the cocoons neatly inside and you can store these in another box and then reload this that would be a good time to paint it or stain it before you reload it let it dry for a week or two and then put your new tubes in and when I store these after I refill these when I store them I store them face down like this so that bugs don't go in those holes over the winter now you know how to do a basic block